coming up on At Your Leisure. Hi, I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And today we're going to experience a slice of heaven and a trip to the moon. I'm Brett Pennyfather on the North Island of New Zealand for a once in a lifetime cycling adventure. And I'm Ray Stein coming up, big changes to the Provo River. Okay, ready? Don't sit under the yeah. birthday arch with anyone, anyone else but Brett. Anyone else but Brett. Anyone else but Brett. It's Brett Hermanson's birthday and we're at Birthday Arch. Welcome to At Your yeah. Leisure. I'm Chad Booth. I'm Rhea Rossi Booth and we are hanging out with some wonderful people today. Um, we have got uh, Mike and Bob and Chrissy from Upland Adventures out here in Big Water and they got us on this rock with those incredible Maverick Can-Ams and we're also with the Eagles Landing folks. Right, we got the whole management Woo! team from Eagles Landing yeah! at Greenhaven which is actually Paige. These are a dynamite bunch of people and there's some new things happening we got to share with you about Eagles Landing because they've got new Verbos down there so you can literally stay right next to Yardley Steak Burger, fill your tummy up, and you can turn your back on the lake or look toward the lake, but there's adventure of every kind. And these guys from Upland and Up Lake Adventures will take care of you. So Upland Adventures is a really amazing opportunity for people to come and, and go on a guided adventure. The nice thing about a guided adventure is they get to follow us, but they get to find the cool places to go. Uh, so there is a little bit of instruction and we keep them safe. It's a fun opportunity to come down and see Southern Utah, a little bit of Northern Arizona in, in a whole different way, all year round, you know, even in the winter time when we get a little bit of, you know, a lot of cold weather, it's not as busy, but we have a lot of fun. So we really like the Mavericks. Um, they're a four seater machine. I would say probably the number one reason is because of the terrain that we cover, we need good suspension. This is the Can-Am Maverick XRS Turbo RR. This is the bad boy. It's a dune shredding, rock crawling, Desert blasting beast, 200 horsepower turbocharged. This same model of car took place one through 11 at the Dakar Rally, which is one of the biggest off-road races in the world. The top 11 cars were this car. So that says a lot. They're incredible. You come up to obstacles that you think, this is gonna hurt, and then you just cruise right over it. Oh, Upland Adventures is so much fun. I, I didn't wanna work, I'm retired, but then I got the job job driving these incredible machines and which is what I like to do for fun anyway and I get to take really fun people out on tours in this beautiful area that my ancestors helped settle so I mean it's perfect it's so much fun the cars are a blast the people are fun the country's beautiful it's the people that we meet just totally make the experience for us me and the other guides that work with me it's all about the people um, we see the trails every day we see the lake many, many times. It's still beautiful, but what makes the experience unique is our guests. You get to come down, get to experience it through their eyes, and that is just what makes it. The people make the trip, and they're always so much fun. We have friends from all over the world, and they come back again and again because they had a great time in Southern Utah. Man, these can are so sweet. You know, Chad's driving, and I'm like, all right, dude, time for you to bail. I hijacked not, it. Not at all, yeah, the hijacked is right. Not at all true. She was listening to Bob talk about these machines and how great they were, and she backed out of the crowd slowly. <laughs> and then I got back here, and she was in and buckled in, so. No, man, these things are just such a sweet drive. They're such a sweet ride. I, I absolutely love riding in it and driving them. These are just so nice. Well, don't drive into the moon, honey. You don't want to go to the moon? <laughs> Anyway, while we make our way down the slope to the moonscape, how about you take a look at this story? 
Deep in the heart of the North Island of New Zealand is a perfect family adventure that is entertaining as well as informative. The Tingma Trail is an 84 kilometer cycle trail that was built where they used to extract timber from the natural bush. Once they'd stopped extracting timber, there was a group of people, the Prime Minister at the time of New Zealand being one of the main people who decided that they wanted a trail that went all the way through New Zealand. Besides beautiful, it's also well laid out with all the facilities you could meet. The Timber Trail is part of the New Zealand cycle network that goes the full length of the country so people can ride from north to south or south to north and the Timber Trail is one of the more spectacular scenic sections on the North Island. It's a perfect repurposing of infrastructure that would have otherwise been forgotten. Where there were tracks for trains, they moved those out and they put gravel on and it worked out that it would make a fantastic two-day cycle trail. It's two 40 kilometer days, so over 80 k's in total, but it's track that most people can ride. It's hard enough that a decent cyclist gets a good ride, but it's also easy enough or not overly technical that the people who aren't confident riders can still have a really good time. So for a family group, it's perfect because you can get the whole family riding together and having an amazing time. Well-placed rest points are spread out throughout the two days ride. So it's a fantastic trail, it goes through a lot of native bush and lots of historical sites to see because of the fact that it was an old timber trail. I think that the timber trail probably doesn't lend itself to specific favourite moments, it's more of an overall experience. The suspension bridges are out of this world, they are high and long and the engineering that's gone into them purely for a mountain bike trail is incredible. So if one thing stands out more than anything, it's probably riding over those suspension bridges. As with any adventure, there are supposed to be some challenges. New Zealand is quite different to most places in the world where we're a couple of tiny little islands at the bottom of the world where weather happens quite fast and it's quite extreme. So do your homework and don't just pack for the Instagram day. There can be all weather at any time. So even if it's a beautiful day, make sure that you're properly prepared. And we used Camp Epic, which is a glamping company that set up the shuttles for us. They transported all our food and overnight gear to their camp. And so they provided us with up-to-date weather reports prior to going, so we knew what to expect. And when we got into camp after a very wet, very cold, very windy day, all our warm, dry clothes were waiting for us in fantastic safari tents with what some might call the best showers in New Zealand ready for us and a cold beer. So can't ask for much more. Either train quite hard if you're going to use a normal mountain bike or else hire an e-bike. Those are the main things because it's not easy. The first day particularly is quite hard. There's a lot of climbing to do. Make sure that you've got reasonable biking skills because there are places where you can crash but fitness is the big thing, especially on the first day. With a total of almost 53 miles, there's still never a dull moment. The Timber Trail is a perfect adventure to create lasting family memories. From the beautiful North Island of New Zealand, I'm Brett Pennyfather. Looking to put more distance between you and your competition? Then buy a Honda. The new CRF 250R. Boy Honda. Lighter, faster, stronger. Ready to help you find your edge. At Your Leisure has a long-standing reputation and 
a large, loyal audience of adventurers in the outdoors. Although we're excited to continue to grow and enjoy the shared success of our longtime sponsors, we have space for more. And if you have a brand that would benefit from the two decades of goodwill that we've built, contact us at AYLTV.com and let us amplify your voice above the competition. When you're ready for adventure, fuel your machine with Clear 91. Fuel for performance, fuel for adventure, and fuel for the long haul. Ethanol free, 91 octane. Fill up with Clear 91. Only available at Eagle's Landing. With you for the long haul. Sometimes to recharge, you need to unplug. In Tickaboo, Utah, you'll find a landscape that will give you more energy than you ever thought possible. Escape the heat in the Henry Mountains, where history, off-road adventure, and bison herds meet. It's time to unplug and recharge. Tickaboo, Utah. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. We are graced with the Dalai Lama behind us. Oh, see, I, see, I thought that was the Italian Lama, Lama Mia. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to force myself to laugh at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. No, we, we're out here uh, with the uh, Upland Adventures. It's part of uh, a group that does a lot of tours out of the Page area. And it kind of looks like we're at a Can-Am convention, but that is what Upland Adventures prefers to use because they are so well matched to the terrain out here. Oh my gosh, it is just, you talk about the Ferrari or the, I, I just cannot believe how unbelievable this ride is. You don't feel one bump and you can take anything yeah, with those so things. It's like a cross between a Ferrari and a Rolls Royce. Oh, totally because agreed. Because it just, it sucks up the whoops and they've got, they got a ton of power. And, and there are a lot of whoops to encounter here. It's really diverse terrain. Well, right now we're at a place called Birthday Arch. Just behind me, there's a huge hole in the ground with an arch that formed over the years of the water freezing and breaking the rocks and then thawing. It's a beautiful arch. On the way up, we came through some really cool washes, sand washes. We're blasting back and forth. We saw a really cool rock formation. Looks like a llama, some rock crawls. And on the way out of here, we're gonna go across a big flat open area where we can hit 80, 85 miles an hour and just let her rip. So the terrain here is extremely varied. Then we're gonna switch from the old wild, wild west where they film the west, western movies here. We're gonna go over to the science fiction area where we call the moon. And they did film a Josie Wales, Clint Eastwood movie there, but most of that, we call that the moon, the science fiction area, completely different terrain. Here we are on the red rock and the, and the dirt and everything and trees. And then we're gonna go somewhere totally different within 25 minutes of here. That it looks like you're on a totally different planet. It, it would seem like you drove, you've driven maybe a thousand miles to get to a different geographical area. And the geological formations, it's just amazing. Unlike any other place in the world. It's a national monument <laughs> for one. And there's, it's not just this national monument. You got Zion close by and Bryce and the Grand Canyon is not too far, so you got all that in one big giant area. Oh, the ride has been awesome, beautiful. Uh, uh, going up those rocks was pretty, uh, pretty cool. Um, hitting some of those straightaways are fun. Hopefully we can do that some more of that. I love it, you know, it is amazing. These upland adventure rides are great. And I would recommend for anybody to come out in the area to come and join us and see the beautiful part of Utah. Where do you start your day when there are endless opportunities to explore? In Richfield, we'll set you on the right track with the Paiute ATV Trail right on our doorstep. Head into the Tusher Mountains and taste the crisp mountain air. Explore desert landscapes that echo voices from the past. 
Richfield, the heart of Utah trail country. Wondering where your next OHV adventure will take you? Outsiders Utah has your answer with downloadable GPS routes, ride times, distance, local amenities, and other details. 360 street views of the trails that let you explore before you go and more. Eliminate the guesswork and uncertainty and find a trail you'll love. Visit OutsidersUtah.com and see the trail before you ride the trail. Locally owned Stedman's Recreation has been serving Utah for over 50 years. The owners, Russ, Dave, and Kirk, live and ride here. Stedman's Recreation supports the community, sponsoring schools, Utah State Parks, and Utah Trail Systems. Looking for a new side-by-side -side ATV or dirt bike? Your wait is over. Inventory is in stock. Let Stedman's help you get outside so you can create memories that last a lifetime. Yamaha, Honda, Polaris, Argo, KO, and Beta. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You might think it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's only 30 miles back. Zippy. Woohoo! Wow. What you about? ain't never getting back in this seat, mister. <laughs> <laughs> we have to buy it first. Oh, these anyway. things are fun. Anyway, welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are out with the crew from Eagles Landing in Page, and we are out with the group from Upland Adventures. Now, Eagles Landing, ever since they took over this gas station and built this uh, travel plaza, this has been like hot news. People just love it. I'll tell you what, it used to be just pick up some gas and, you know, run in and get some really good grub. But now they have the steak burgers and they've got, oh my gosh, that wonderful, their wonderful little lodge, their rental vacation lodge. That's the thing we need to talk about. Because where to steal a phrase from some other vendor of uh, travel plazas, while the others may be adventures first stop, this is definitely Adventure Space Camp because you've got everything right here. Yeah, this is really cool. Let's check it out. Eagles Landing uh, Pilot is located in Greenhaven right outside of Page. We are located about a mile from Lone Rock. Uh, it's a great recreational area. We're open 24 hours a day. We're centrally located, you know, we're close to the lake. Uh, we're close to areas like this where you can go off-roading, camping. Uh, so it's a great place to live, great place to be. I mean, we're, we're right on the uh, border of Arizona, Utah. You know, you can't beat the weather here. Uh, you know, fall and spring, the weather's probably the best in the nation. You know, you can't beat it. So right now we are, uh, we are showcasing uh, three uh, cabins or vacation rentals. Um, it's basically uh, one bedroom, uh, one bath, uh, kitchenette, uh, located right at the uh, Eagles Landing Pilot site. Um, has uh, views of the lake and it's right next to the store so it's kind of a one-stop shop. We have the restaurant there, the Yardley's uh, steak burgers, we have um, pretty much everything you need there. Not to mention um, the employees that uh, work for 24 hours. Uh, we strive for 100% customer service. Uh, we take pride in that. Uh, it's a great clean location. Yeah, I know the Airbnb cabins, they're amazing, and I would encourage you all to come on out. They're clean, they're brand new, they're beautiful. They're right by Eagles Landing Pilot Store at your convenience. And then at the same token, if you want, you go ahead and rent, rent um, one of these side-by-sides with the Upland Adventures, and you will have a blast. Another awesome thing about these travel plazas at Eagles Landing is they always have the most beautiful, enormous American flags just flying as you pull in. And it's just like, God bless America. You know, these guys are patriots. It just makes me so happy. Yeah, you know what I really like about the uh, Eagles Landing here at Greenhaven though, is these vacation rentals that have the deck out the back. And you can sit out there on your deck, prop your feet up and yep. look out there and say, do I want a boat? Do I want a ride? Do I want a boat? <laughs> Do I, right. do I want a boat? You can do both. In, uh, in the same day. In the same day. And then in the evening or whatever, yeah. you can like go get their wood in their little shop in there oh, and yeah, just go just, have a nice yeah. little... 
They got everything you need just 50 feet away. Fireplace. Anyway, we're going to go find Bob, go for another ride, and why don't you look at this story? I'm Reese Stein, at your leisure, along the Provo River, where conservation groups have been working for years to restore the delta where the river runs into Utah Lake. And today, they reached a major milestone. Today was a big day for us. We were able to connect the Provo River to the restored delta area that we've been working on for the last three years. With one big bite of the shovel, water from the Provo River flows into a ribbon of channels and wetlands that will make up a new river delta on the eastern shore of Utah Lake. The area was diked off from the lake in the 1920s to create dry pasture land. The 260-acre, $50 million project just north of the Provo State Park Marina will restore the bay and provide new breeding areas for the threatened June sucker, a fish found nowhere else in the world but Utah Lake. The, the delta is providing habitat for young June sucker to grow and survive and avoid predation. Chris Kelleher, who oversees the June sucker recovery effort, releases a ceremonial fish into the new delta. Historically, the river channels in Utah have been uh, channelized and really simplified, and that simplified habitat didn't work for June sucker because it didn't provide the right conditions in terms of temperature and food, and it also didn't provide any cover from predators. So this new restored delta provides all of that. Assistant Secretary of Interior Tanya Tejillo has a little trouble gripping the slippery sucker. This area is connected to the Provo River Trail and will become more than just a breeding ground for June suckers. But there's so many other important aspects to it. You know, we're going to open up almost 300 acres to public access to fishing and wildlife watching. It's going to be a great resource for the community. New trails, new trailheads, a new city park for Provo City. There's so many aspects that are going to benefit everyone who uses Utah Lake and the lower Provo River. The new Delta Park is scheduled to open to the public in 2024. Restein at your leisure along the way in Utah County. There are a lot of small towns in Utah, and there are a lot of ATV tricks, but there aren't very many that offer riding like this. Here in Hanksville, we're the home of Factory Butte. Pure adrenaline mixed with the grandeur of the West. Plus, with plenty of hotels and restaurants, you can stay and explore for days without ever needing a trailer. Hanksville, Utah, your base camp for thrills. Unexplored. Does it mean riding the same trails as everyone else? Fishing the same lakes? Stopping at the same views? No. Unexplored is so much more. To find it, you need to get off the beaten path. In the northeast corner of Utah, you and your family can still find a land that's unexplored. The shores of Flaming Gorge are only the beginning of a family adventure in Daggett County. Daggett County, Utah. It's what you find at the end of your adventure. Join us on AYL 24-7 with early access to commercial-free episodes, detailed trip itineraries, a look behind the scenes, group discussions and forums, profile and account customization, individual segments, and a nostalgic trip to classic episodes. We want our viewers to get the show they want to see when they want to see it. It's all the viewing you've grown to love and more. Sign up now at AYLTV.com. You know, there are so many places that you could do Christmas cards from down here. Oh yeah, this is one of them. This would be one of them. Yeah. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are out of uh, big water uh, with the people from Eagle's Landing and Upland Adventures. 
And we are exploring some great territory. Now, you know through the 22 years we've been doing this show, we've traveled a lot of this area. In fact, Kane County is one of the most traveled areas we have. Oh, absolutely. But we've never been here. Yeah. And this is pretty cool. Yeah, the, the tour, tour guide brought us up here, Upland brought us up here, and this is beautiful. There's a lot of movies were filmed up here in the, back in the day. Ba back in the day, the whole area. But yeah. you know what my favorite part about this is, is that my girls growing up, when we would come down to this country, they love to do exactly what you're doing. Aww. There's a rock climb. They, they wanted to climb on it. They did. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a spectacular up here. The view, amazing. And I wanted to tell you, Chad Booth, I'm loving your sweatshirt. Oh, thank you. How about this? Ooh, love the shirt too. Well, you know what? If any of you have been jealous of at your leisure swag, now you can have some, because we are just opening up right now, AYLstore.com, and you can go get. Hats like this, hoodies, we've got uh, polo shirts. We'll have a lot more stuff coming in the future, but go on, pick your color, pick your size, and order it and uh, be like one of the cool kids. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, we started doing it because people are like, hey, can I have one of those hats? Can I have one of those sweatshirts? Can I have one? I'm like, ugh, we don't really have any, but now we have them for you. Right, and boy, <laughs> more people have asked Rhea for this hat than anything in the world. Everybody wants this hat. It is. No, they are real. It's cool. It's, it's a cool logo. Anyway, check it out. Check this out next week's show. Next week, Chad is joining the folks with the Tri-State ATV Club as he heads out for a great day of riding, raffles, food, and vendors at their annual Tri-State ATV Jamboree in Hurricane, Utah. Yeah, I'm going to miss you there, Rhea. It's going to be a lot of fun. Then along comes Doug Jessup, and this time his journey is to the Utah State Parks Division to discuss the top five state parks that can be found in the state of Utah. And finally, Will Oxley is meeting up with Craig Gordon from the Utah Avalanche Center as they give us an inside look at what it takes to understand and predict avalanches, as well as how to keep yourself safe and prepared. Now let's check out our contest winner. This week's contest winner was submitted to us via email by Woody Collette. And it looks like Woody is the lucky winner of a Clearly Tough windshield for his rig. Clearly Tough offers the strongest windshields on the market. Visit clearlytough.com for more information. Congratulations, Woody, and be sure to call us on Monday at 801-947-8888 to claim your prize. Now let's take a look at our calendar of events. First up, April 1st through the 9th is the annual Easter Jeep Safari in Moab, Utah, which is a great annual event that includes Jeep trails, vendors, and the latest and greatest products in the Jeep industry. Not to mention the Red Rock, then the Canab Red Rock ATV Jamboree is April 26th through the 29th, so be sure to register for that so you can enjoy endless riding opportunities on the Montezuma Trail System. Great show lined up for next week. Great birthday party for Brett Hermanson today. Yeah, thanks for bringing me out on the, thanks Bob for awesome. bringing me out here on the side-by-sides. Right, so Upland Adventures, your place to go if you want a great guided tour with a lot of knowledgeable background and good dad jokes, I might add. <laughs> They're and just you, good people. If, if you want good food and a good place to stay, Eagle's Landing right down there in Green Haven, that's the combination. Really, it's a win-win situation. These people are awesome and uh, you just cannot not have a good time out here. True. So remember, there is adventure around every band. You just got to get out there and create your own adventure at, at your leisure. leisure.